All right, YouTube, welcome to part four of my journey into this new computer. <clears throat> and I'm gonna start off by telling you about a little modification I did here. Uh, if you remember from previous vids, I mentioned something about the um, the second CPU um, heatsink. I was worried it might not be big enough. Um, and I was right. Let's see here. This was, um, the heatsink I put in there It was one of these. Um, and it said it should work just fine, but I couldn't find anywhere to plug in this fan that's supposed to cool it. There's no fan plug anywhere on this motherboard for that CPU cooler. So, I tried taking the fan off and just putting the CPU or uh, just putting the heat sink right on it like that without a fan and hoping that this gigantic fan right here hopefully you can see it on the camera I don't know if you can this big guy right here should produce enough airflow to be able to keep it cool well here's what was happening as I was using my computer it started off at a relatively high speed you know I was like wow that's a little fast but I guess I'll just have to get used to it as I keep working on the computer and doing stuff it gets louder and louder and louder and the fans are basically blowing at like 300 percent normal speed I'm like okay something's gotta be wrong my CPU temperature was through the roof so yeah it obviously wasn't doing the job so I been trying to um, figure out a, a cooling solution here. Um, I came up with the best solution. I tried several other things before. Um, what I ended up doing was I, I really this fan right here that's on it now was originally back here in this slot. I noticed that it um, this fan was originally intended to pull air through this compartment right here, which is where those risers were for the RAM. Uh, it would it was intended to cool down a very large amount of RAM that was in here. And since that RAM is not there, all I have is these two cards down here. It's not really necessary to be in that spot to suck the air through. So um, I ended up moving it to right on top of that CPU. It's at, a, at kind of an angle, so it's cooling... The, it, I don't know if you can see this, but it's cooling the CPU heatsink, the north bridge right here, and it's cooling my RAM, and all the air is just blowing right out of that um, that back right there. So it's actually um, a lot better than than it it was before. Um, with just this fan um, blowing on the heatsinks, even if it had a proper heatsink on here, it still wouldn't it wouldn't cool as good as this thing is doing right now um, it's doing great the fans haven't sped up at all it's go they're going on minimum power and um, they're cooling just fine um, my Northbridge has never been this cool before it used to, it was so hot that I couldn't even touch it uh, now you can see I can touch it and it's it's relatively warm but it's fine um, also, um, my hard drives. Um, here's the problem. I, w I installed Windows 7 on the 500 gig hard drive, intending on using that operating system to make an exact copy from my old one terabyte that I was using to the new 160, just to you know kind of make a backup of my old system before I put Windows 7 on my terabyte, if that makes any sense. That's what I was intending to do. Well, I've got Windows 7 installed on the 500 gig. And um, it's not letting me copy from the terabyte to the 160 for some reason. It should be copying, I, I don't even have hardly anything on there. It's only about 80 gigs worth of data on there. It's not letting me copy all of that. It's only registering like 8 gigs of information for some reason. I don't know why, but whatever. I'm going to have to figure out something else. I think instead of just making an exact copy, I'm probably just going to install XP on the 160 
gigabyte and then transfer all over my files and programs to it. It's going to take longer and be a pain in the ass, but that's probably what I'll have to do. Then once that's done, I will nuke my terabyte hard drive, wipe it completely clean, and then install Windows 7 and get um, my programs and um, documents and pictures and music and everything on there. Um, and after that, I should have a 1 gigabyte and a 500 gigabyte hard drive, both running Windows 7 um, Professional 64-bit. So yeah, there's all that. Third problem I'm running into here is activation of my Windows 7. Um, this computer was actually designed for uh, Windows XP 64-bit, but um, I am trying to put Windows 7 Professional 64-bit on it, and it should be just fine. Only problem is the product key is not valid to activate Windows 7. They're saying I need a product key. Uh, this computer did not come with one. Um, my Windows 7 installation disk uh, installed just fine. I'm actually using it and it's going great, but it says it requires activation within three days and I don't have um, the product key that's going to work. The guy I ordered this from said it shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, the product key should work. Well, it's not working. I tried contacting the seller and no response at all. So I'm kind of in a weird place here. I might have to just break down and go buy another Windows 7 disk with the proper product key because this is starting to irritate me. I actually called Microsoft Technical Support to try and get a new key. They said, oh sorry sir, you'll have to call Dell Technical Support. So I called Dell. Oh sorry sir, you'll have to call Microsoft Support. So I call Microsoft again, tell them what happened, and they're like, well there's nothing we can do. You'll have to just buy a new one. So yeah, I'm a little irritated about that. But in the meantime, I'm going to just work on transferring as much stuff as I can from my terabyte with XP on it to the 160 just to, you know, kind of have my stuff there in a secure place. I'm going to continue using my terabyte on XP on my old computer, which is this guy right here, still sitting here. I'm going to just keep using that for a little while until I get my Windows 7 situation figured out. Um, and then once that's all squared away, I will start transferring over to this new computer. So it could be a few days, it could be a couple weeks, I'm not really sure. I hope it's sooner, because <clears throat> I'm moving to Fresno in about two, two and a half weeks from now. I'd really like to get this thing going um, before then, but we'll see. Alright, YouTube. Um, Thanks for watching. There's probably going to be a part five. I can definitely see um, some more stuff I'm going to be talking to you guys about. So, I hope you guys are still interested and I'm not boring you to death. Uh, but thanks for watching anyways. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye.